Most of us enjoy traveling and taking a relaxing vacation, but not all destinations are stress-free, and some may even be more dangerous than staying home. Here are some of the most dangerous tourist attractions in the world. Mount Huashan, China. This plank path walk in China is one of the most dangerous and terrifying in the world. As you walk the cliffside of the mountain, you are left to hook and unhook yourself to the various cables until you reach the end of the skywalk. You are clinging to life while walking on rickety planks that are just 12 inches wide. Hope that view is worth it. The Arica Volcano, Chile. If regular bungee jumping is too boring for you, then you should check out bungee jumping at the Via Rica Volcano in Chile, and you're jumping right into the crater. Did we mention that the volcano is active? That means you are jumping into a pool of hot lava, all the while praying that the bungee cord snaps you back up before you melt into the hot magma. If you manage to survive, then you'll be taken back to headquarters 35 miles away while hanging from the bottom of the helicopter. El Caminito del Rey, Spain. In English, El Caminito del Rey translates to the King's Little Pathway, and they are not kidding. El Caminito del Rey is a little walkway that is pinned to the side of a steep and narrow gorge in the province of Malaga, Spain. Parts of the walkway were closed for over a decade due to the poor condition of the walkway and after there were two deaths in 1999 and 2000. It reopened in 2015, but there are still other parts partially collapsed, making it a dangerous visit for tourists. Yosemite National Park's Half Dome, USA the climb takes an entire day and 60 people have died while trying to climb the Half Dome at Yosemite National Park in California. Two hikers who died had their bodies swept away by the rapids below. The dome rises 5,000 feet above Yosemite and park rangers are available to assist hikers, but the National Park Service discourages anyone who is out of shape to embark on the journey. There are metal cables that allow hikers to climb the last 400 feet up to the summit without harnesses. If the conditions are wet, climbing is highly discouraged. The Mirror Lake side of the Half Dome is also known as the Death Slabs. Safe, right? Poison Garden, England in the town of Annick, Northumberland, lies the famous Annick Garden. But a special section called Poison Garden opened in 2005, and visitors have come from far and wide to risk peering at the dangerous plants. The garden is home to over a hundred variations of poisonous plants. Visitors have even fainted from toxic fumes, and it's strongly advised not to touch anything. There are also signs and disclaimers all over the garden. Chernobyl Tours, Ukraine Chernobyl is the site of one of the most catastrophic nuclear disasters that has ever occurred. The Ukrainian plant and the surrounding areas were evacuated, but the grounds are still active with radiation. However, since the accident in 1986, people have been wondering what the area looks like. To quench this curiosity, there are now Chernobyl walking tours that offer the once-in-a-lifetime experience of exploring the old site. While the area is managed to ensure that levels of radiation are too small to cause harm to visitors, safety isn't guaranteed. Tourists are not allowed to eat outdoors or touch any vegetation as contact can still be very dangerous. Mount Everest, Nepal and Tibet Located in the mountain range in Nepal and Tibet, Mount Everest is the world's highest mountain with an elevation of over 29,000 feet above sea level. People all over the world have been trying to climb it since 1953. But just because it's frequented by hundreds of people each year, it doesn't mean that it's safe. About 280 people have died while trying to climb, while others don't even make it to the top due to sickness and injury. Not only are there risks of avalanches, storms, and unsteady icy terrain, but the depleting oxygen levels the higher you get can certainly cause trouble, as can the dangerously low temperatures and winds. The mountain is so treacherous that many who have died are still in the same spot due to the risk of bringing their bodies back down. Praia de Boa Viagem, Brazil 
Praia de Boa Viagem is one of the most popular tourist spots in Brazil, with sandy beaches and picture-perfect water appealing to tourists all over the world. However, before you dip a toe in the water, it's good to know that Praia de Boa Viagem has been plagued by sharks since 1992. To date, there have been over 50 shark attacks and the numbers keep growing. Before you think that's not a big deal, over one-third of the attacks have resulted in death. Apparently, the area was built over a breeding ground for sharks and estuaries were closed for the sake of the beach. Now the tourists are paying for it. Colorado River, USA the Colorado River is one of the biggest rivers in the southwestern United States. No matter which state the river is running through, it has become one of the most popular spots for whitewater rafting and other water-related activities. In 2007 alone, there were 12 fatalities and over 176 injuries. In 2014, the death toll rose to 17 plus hundreds of injuries. The dangers are attributed to rising waters from melting snow caps and glaciers which are causing the waters to become exceedingly dangerous and unstable. Do any of these dangerous attractions interest you? Maybe you've already visited some of them. Share your thoughts with us in the comments and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to The Richest for more incredible videos daily. Stay safe and thanks for watching.